Hi everyone, welcome back to another Stride and Edge Vinyasa Flow. So this class is just over 20 minutes and it's all focused on the shoulders. So shoulder strength, but also shoulder mobility. So we'll be really working on opening up and finding that space in the shoulders. Also working quite a bit on binds. So if you've never done binds before, so maybe you'll try something new. And if you want to, if you struggle with interlacing your hands behind your back, you can use a yoga strap or even a belt or a dressing gown belt. So if you want to, you can pause the video and grab that now. Otherwise, I will see you back on the mat and I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start today's class in a child's pose. So just bringing the hips back towards the heels and then reaching the hands out in front. It's more comfortable for you to bring your knees together for a little bit more support under the chest. You can do, otherwise you can take the knees out a little wider, finding a bit more space for the chest to come down, and opening into the hips. Just want you to spread the fingers out onto the mat. Really feeling the ground underneath the hands. If the forehead is down on the mat, then just gently rock forwards. So you're kind of pressing the skin more towards your nose, just finding a little bit of a pressure point in between your eyebrows. Just take a big breath in through the nose. And then a big breath out. And again, inhale. Feel it go all the way into the shoulders. Exhale, let it go. Another breath in, this time let it go into the ribs. Expanding outwards. Exhale, let it go. And this time, big breath in. Feel it go all the way into the hips, so into the belly as well, down. And exhale, release. Gently here, you're gonna come up onto your fingertips. So tensing up onto your hands, so the forearms and elbows should lift off to the ground. And then take a big breath in, slightly lift the body away from the mat. And then as you exhale, melt the chest down, just wiggling into those shoulders. You can even find a little bit of a rock side to side. Let's do that again, big breath in, lifting. Exhale, sinking. Very nice, planting the hands back down, gently rocking forwards. We're gonna bring ourselves into a tabletop position. So just bring those knees right underneath the hips, hands out underneath the shoulders. Again, those fingers are spread out. Take a little rock forwards and backwards just to warm up through the wrists. Find that nice mobility through the wrists. You can even turn the fingers out to the side, a little rock side to side. Forwards and backwards. And then bring the hands back to that neutral position. Moving through our cat cows, as you inhale, let the belly drop down, lifting the chin, lift the chest. And then as you exhale, round the back, press through the hands, looking towards the belly button. And again, inhale, scooping the belly down, lift the chest. Exhale and round the back, pressing through the hands. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Very good. From here, you're gonna tuck the toes underneath. Start to lift the knees, lift the hips up and back to your first downward facing dog. To start with, I want you to take a nice big bend into the legs, thinking about drawing your chest towards your knees. You can even bounce through the shoulders slightly, so we're really gonna find that nice opening through the shoulders. And then from here, you can start to straighten the legs a little bit and then press strong through the hands. And you'll feel this lengthening through your lats, through the side of your shoulders. Inhaling here. Exhale, can we draw the heels down? We're then gonna inhale, rock forwards through to a high plank. Shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, take the hips up and back, downward dog. Inhale, rocking forwards, high plank, squeeze that core. Exhale, downward dog. One more time, inhaling, coming forwards, we hold. 
and then from here moving through your chaturanga you're going to shift forward so you come onto the toes so the shoulders can pass the wrists we lower down halfway take those elbows back nice and tight in with the ribs and then all the way onto the belly untucking the toes gently press through the hands we lift into our cobra roll the shoulders back big breath in exhale chin back down towards the mat and again inhale lifting up exhale back down inhale lifting and exhale from here just take your hands a little bit more towards the outsides of the mat and coming onto those fingertips again elbows out wide you're going to take a big breath in as you press through the fingertips lifting up again but this time drop the right shoulder down and look over the left so you're going to feel this nice stretch through the front of the shoulder come back up to the middle inhale exhale left shoulder drops down look over the right inhale come back up to the middle and then all the way down onto the belly pressing through the hands pressing through the tops of the feet we find upward facing dog roll the shoulders back big breath in exhale hips go up and back downward facing dog from here you're going to walk the hands towards the feet so walking the hands all the way towards the back of the mat you can bend into the legs into this forward fold just let the head hang heavy releasing the neck you can even take a hold of opposite elbows with your hands, creating this little swing in the arms. And just gently sway side to side, forwards and backwards. And then let the hands fall back down, slowly rolling up through the spine, rolling all the way up. Head comes up last. Once you get there, roll the shoulders up to the ears. Roll them back and down, palms facing forwards. We're in our mountain pose, Tadasana. Strong through the legs, through the feet, fingertips reaching down, crown of the head reaching up. Take a big breath in. Open the mouth, sigh it out. From here, you're then going to turn your hands behind you and interlace them behind your back. Roll the shoulders back. See if you can bring your palms to touch together. So you really want to squeeze the palms together. Maybe that means you keep your elbows bent, but rolling the shoulders back, lifting the chest, inhaling here. Exhale, we stay. Big breath in. If you struggle with this, you can even use a yoga strap, holding a yoga strap or a dressing gown belt or something like that. Just so you can feel this opening, rolling the shoulders back. And then from here, keeping the hands as they are, we're gonna fold forwards. Maybe wiggle into the shoulders a little bit. Big breath in and out. Relax the neck. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, letting the hands release, fall down towards the ground, shake them out. And then looking back towards the top of the mat, you're gonna walk the hands all the way back out back into that downward facing dog. Let's do one vinyasa, inhale, rock forwards, high plank. Exhale, shift forwards onto the toes first as then you lower down through your chaturanga, halfway. Inhale into your upward dog or cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Very good. From here, we're going to rock forwards again into your high plank, holding here. We then are going to roll the feet over towards the right and as you do you can either stack the feet on top or maybe you separate them just for a little bit more stability and then we're going to lift the left arm up so we are in a side plank. From here you want to lift up through the side core, through those hips. If you're struggling with this you can bring the right knee down for a little bit more support but still think about lifting up through those obliques. Holding here, big breath in. If you wanna go a little bit more, you can lift the top leg up. Holding, big breath in. And then wherever you are, you're gonna bring it back to your high plank. Holding, inhale. Exhale, other way, drop the heels over towards the left as you then start to reach the right arm up. We have those options, either stacking the feet, spreading the feet out a little wider, or if you want to, you can bring the left knee down. Or even if you want to progress a little bit more, you can lift the right leg up. Holding here, inhale. Exhale, squeeze up through the core. 
looking back down towards the ground high plank and then take the hips up and back downward dog Ooh, that's a lot on the shoulders and then from here we're just going to walk the feet all the way up towards the top of the mat back into that forward fold release the arms take a big breath in and out rolling up to standing one more time this time bring the arms all the way up overhead palms touch inhale exhale bring the hands at the chest very good you're going to reach your right arm up towards the sky and then from here bending at the elbow just take the hand in between the shoulder blades and you can use that left hand to sort of pull at that elbow more towards the middle so you can walk that right hand down your back either holding here or you can take the left hand wrapping it underneath see if you can get those fingers to touch or maybe link holding here big breath in and then as we exhale we're going to lean over towards the left so you're going to feel this nice stretch through that right hand side and then coming all the way back up to the middle releasing the hands take them out other way reach the left arm up inhale exhale bringing that hand down towards the middle of your back and then you can use that right hand to just walk that elbow in a little bit walking the hands down your spine you can just stay here as we find the lean to the right or if you want to take that right hand underneath and wrapping underneath linking the hands big breath in exhale we lean to the right and then all the way back to the middle gently release the hands give them a little shake out we're going to find a little bit of a flow now we inhale lift the arms up exhale take a forward fold inhale find a halfway lift flat back as we exhale we're going to step the right leg all the way to the back of the mat from here you then drop the heel down and we're going to bring our left hand on top of our left knee and then reach the right arm up towards the sky so we want to open that chest towards the right hand side rolling that right hip back holding here if you want to have a go with a half bind we take that top hand and you wrap it around your lower back maybe you can get the fingers in that front hip crease if you want to take a full bind you can take that bottom hand and wrap it underneath the leg and see if you can get those fingers to link they have really warmed up the shoulders but from here you want to roll that top shoulder back bend into that front leg a little more maybe you can take the gaze up towards this guy so again we have lots of options with this side angle you can have the bind the half bind or no bind at all one more breath, inhale, and then gently release the hands, we come back to our side angle pose, and then from here you're going to lift all the way up into a reverse warrior, so reach it all the way up and back, still bending into that front leg, inhale, option to straighten the front leg, might feel quite nice in the hips, and then from here we start to look towards the front, and as we do, that back hand is going to come all the way down like a big windmill, all the way down in line with your front foot as we find this nice gentle twist. So left arm should be up. Big breath in. From here, looking down towards the ground, we want to feel this nice strength in our right hand that's on the mat. You're going to roll onto the outside edge of the back foot, and we're going to stack the feet on top into our side plank. We hold and then that top leg is going to step behind toes touch down lift the hips in a wild thing big breath in inhale and exhale look down towards the ground we come back to our side plank we hold and then here you're going to take that top leg you're going to bring the knee into the chest option to take a hold of the back of the knee to help you step that foot to the top if you can have a go with just stepping it up without using your hands look down towards the ground take a big step up to the top of the mat very good inhale find a halfway lift exhaling fold rolling up to standing lift the arms exhale hands at the chest going through the other side lift the arms inhale exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale the left foot steps behind this time big step back 
drop the heel down, we come into our side angle pose, bring the right elbow on top of that knee, left arm goes up and over. Again, we wanna think about rolling the shoulder back, rolling the top hip back. And then we're gonna have those options for either a half bind or a full bind. Take that top hand, wrapping it around your lower back. Either just staying here and thinking about rolling that shoulder back or the bottom hand wrapping it underneath so you can get those fingers to link. Bending into the front leg if we can. Taking the gaze up if you want to. Inhaling here. And exhale. Slowly we release. We're going to come all the way into our reverse warrior. Reach the arm up and back. Big breath in, reaching. We can straighten the front leg if that feels nice through the hips. And then from here, bend back into the front leg. You take that back hand as you windmill it all the way down in line with that front foot as you bring the right arm up. We're in that nice twist. Inhaling here and exhale. Look down towards the ground, feeling that support into that bottom hand. Rolling onto the edges of the feet, we find our side plank. Holding, big breath in. Then that top foot, the toes are going to step behind. Lift the hips, we find our wild thing. Inhaling here, reaching. Look back down towards the ground as we come into our side plank once again. And then from here, you're going to bring that right knee into the chest and see if we can step it all the way back up towards the top of the mat. Big step up into your forward fold. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. Rolling up to standing, lift the arms. Exhale, hands at the chest. So we're going to do it one more time and see if we can flow through it just a little bit more. So we're going to inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot steps behind, drop the back heel down. Coming into our side angle pose, open the chest towards the right. If you want to take that bind, wrap the top hand behind, maybe link the fingers. Big breath in and out. Gently releasing as we come all the way back into our reverse warrior. Inhale, straighten the leg if you want. Exhale. Start to bend back into the front leg as we take that right hand windmiller all the way down. All the way to the ground, we find that twisted lunge. Big breath in. And then from here, we're going to take it all the way straight into our wild thing. So look down towards the ground, rolling onto the edges of the feet, and take that front foot and flip it all the way behind. Toes touch down, lift the hips. Wild thing. Inhale. And exhale. From here, we come back into our side plank and see if we can bring that right knee into the chest straight away. Look down towards the top of the mat, step that foot up, and then take a big step up to the top of the mat. Very good, inhale, halfway lift, exhaling, fold. Rolling up to standing, lift the arms. Exhale, hands at the chest. Last round, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot steps behind, drop the heel down. We find our side angle pose. Open that chest. Coming into the bind, if you want to, take the top hand behind us. You can wrap the bottom hand, linking the hands. Big breath in. And out. Slowly release, we find our reverse warrior. Reach it up and back. Inhale, straighten the leg if you want. Exhale, bend back into the front leg. Windmill the hands down so that left hand comes down in line with that front foot. We find our twisted lunge. Inhale. Look down towards the ground. We're going to flip it all the way into our wild thing. Take that front foot. Take it all the way behind. Toes touch down. Lift the hips. Inhaling here. Exhale to stay. Look down towards the ground. We gently come back into our side plank. And then that top knee is going to come into the chest and step the foot all the way to the top of the mat. And then take one big step to the top into our forward fold. Inhale, find our halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. Rolling up to standing, lift the arms up. 
Exhale, hands at the chest. Very good. From here, you're gonna sit to your chair pose, bring your knees, your toes together, sorry, heels slightly apart. Bend into the knees, squeezing them together, lift the arms, inhale. Stay as we exhale. One more breath in. And as we exhale, you're just going to bend a little bit deeper and then bring the fingertips all the way down to bring this nice low crouch. And we can come and sit down. Ah, relax. <laughs> From here, you're going to let the legs go out in front, bending the right leg, and you're going to step the right foot to the outside of that left knee or left leg. Interlace the hands around the shin, roll the shoulders back, big breath in. From here, we're going to twist. So take the right hand behind you, roll that shoulder back. You can either just keep that right knee hugging in, or maybe we can hook that left elbow, the outside of that knee, or that thigh. Inhale. And exhale. There is an option for another bind here. It is quite a tricky one, but if you want to have a go, you can try. So we take that left hand, and you're going to see if you can thread it through that gap that we've just made under our right knee. If you can, you can then take that back hand, wrap it around your lower back, and see if you can get those fingers to link. Inhaling here, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Slowly releasing the hands, back to the front. Let the legs go out long, give the arms a little shake. Other way, we're gonna bend that left foot and cross it over that right knee. Just interlace the hands around the shin first, roll the shoulders back so you find that length through the spine, big breath in. And then you're gonna twist again. So we take the left hand behind us. We can just stay here, hugging the knee in. Or if we can, hook that elbow around the outside of that knee. So if you wanna have a go with the bind, you're gonna really want to hook that elbow or even the back of that arm, so that tricep around that knee, because that's gonna give you a little bit more space to thread that hand through. So if you want to have a go, you can thread it underneath the leg and then see if you can take that back hand and wrap it around to link the hands. If we're there, we wanna roll that back shoulder back. Maybe the gaze goes back, inhaling. And exhaling. Gently releasing wherever we are. Coming back through the middle. Let the legs go out long. Give them a little shake out. And then you're gonna take the feet out to the corners of the mat. Bring the hands out in front. And then slowly rolling down through the spine. So tuck the chin round the back. And you're just gonna let each vertebrae of the spine come down towards the mat one at a time, nice and slowly. And once the shoulders touch down, turn the palms to face up towards the ceiling. And then on your exhale, let them float down by your side. And letting every single muscle in the body completely relax. And then just staying here for however long you want. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.